said actors had to stick to the screen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 actors and actresses with bands. For this list, we're focusing on working actors, which means that Taylor Momsen of Gossip Girl has been excluded given that she focuses more on music. <laughs> Also, Donald Glover of Community didn't fit our criteria, as Childish Gambino is his stage name, not a band. Don't eat the crab dip, yay yay! And finally, we're excluding artists like Harry Brownstein, who was part of a prominent band prior to her acting career. It is pabulum. It is juvenile. Number 10, Juliette Lewis, Juliette and the Licks. As the daughter of Hollywood character actor Jeffrey Lewis, this future rocker emerged out of the late 80s TV series I Married Dora. I'm totally romantic. Put your address and phone number too. And less than five years later, Juliette Lewis earned an Oscar nomination for her performance in Cape Fear. But it was a Blondie concert that led her to music. With the 2004 release of Like a Bolt of Lightning, Juliette and the Licks unleashed their gritty rock and roll aesthetic. while a follow-up album produced the title track hit, You're Speaking My Language. You're speaking my numbers, baby. Although the band initially called it quits after three releases, they earned fans such as Dave Grohl and managed to share stages with Queens of the Stone Age, Motorhead, and Chris Cornell. Number 9, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Got a Girl. Some know her as a beloved scream queen of the 21st century, and some know her as Ramona Victoria Flowers from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Do that again, and I will end you. But it was the latter that first introduced Mary Elizabeth Winstead to composer Daniel Nakamura, aka Dan the Automator. With an appreciation for French pop music, the duo collaborated together on a 2014 album entitled I Love You, But I Must Drive Off This Cliff Now. With Winstead's breathy, powerful vocals and the James Bond-like feel of the music, Got A Girl beautifully conveys a unique retro vibe. Complemented by the leading lady's grace and natural charisma. Number 8, Tony Collette. Tony Collette and the finish. This time, I'll do it again. Beginning her acting career in the early 1990s, this Australian actress established herself with acclaimed performances in films such as Muriel's Wedding. Do you want to dance? I'm, I'm a terrible dancer. I don't care. And considering her later roles in The Sixth Sense and Little Miss Sunshine, Toni Collette has become one of the most respected Hollywood actresses of her time. We'll fly there. We can't afford it. Well, that's what we're gonna do unless you have a better idea. But in 2006, she developed a musical side project with husband Dave Galafasi called Toni Collette and The Finish. Ethereal and emotive, the group's lone album captured the attention of Tony's native Australia and beyond, thus allowing the vocally rich actress to break the mold, so to speak. Look up, look up, the sky is falling, colors changing. Number 7, Kevin Bacon, The Bacon Brothers. They say the only sure things in this life are death and taxes. Since Kevin Bacon's 1978 debut in National Lampoon's Animal House, he's essentially worked with everybody in the business. I hate to seem, you know, pushy. Yet it's a musical relationship with his own brother Michael that is often overlooked. Since 1995, the Bacon brothers have been performing traditional country music infused with a jam band influence. Don't seem to go my way. And while their sound isn't necessarily constructed for Top 40 Radio, they've surpassed expectations with their brilliant style of play and lasting commitment to their brotherly love of music. You know just don't 
seem to go my way. Number six, Jason Schwartzman, Phantom Planet. Well, let me tell you. By the time this offbeat comedic actor made his film debut in Wes Anderson's Rushmore, You're kidding. You should quit. He just scored a record deal for his band Phantom Planet. Formed in 1994, the group began playing LA gigs while the members were still in high school, ultimately releasing their landmark single California nearly a decade later. California. With Jason Schwartzman's acting career in full bloom, he left Phantom Planet behind, but later formed his own solo project called Coconut Records, as heard in the opening of HBO's Bored to Death. All the shadows in the city used to love you, what a pity. With unbelievable timing, Schwartzman managed to become a rock star while simultaneously becoming a rock star of modern comedy. I think we took the badness out of it, and it's called, uh, Daddy Played the Banjo. Number 5, Steve Martin. Steve Martin and the Steep Canyon Rangers. First emerging on the scene in the early 1970s, Steve Martin has since amassed a vast resume in comedy. We are two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> but what you might not realize is that he's also a serious banjo enthusiast. By developing his skill set with some help from John McEwen of Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Martin's comedic exercises have allowed for a demonstration of his musical talent, and with less pressure. But in 2009, Steve began a collaboration with the Steep Canyon Rangers, which led to a Grammy nomination for the 2012 release Rare Bird Alert. Decades after his last comedy album, Steve Martin remains a well-recognized performance artist, but for an entirely different genre. Number 4. Ryan Gosling Dead Man's Bones. These days, this handsome actor has reached the Hollywood A-list, but he came to fame initially as a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. Standing here on the international border between Canada and the U.S. Just over this bridge is my hometown of Cornwall, Ontario. In fact, it's been rumored that Ryan Gosling was actually a better singer than fellow Mouseketeer Justin Timberlake. Whatever the case though, Gosling returned to music in 2005, but with a slightly different vibe. A monster vibe. Forming Dead Man's Bones with pal Zach Shields, Gosling released one album, enlisting the help of the Silver Lake Conservatory Children's Choir. It's not what one might have expected from the noted actor, but given Ryan's dedication to the monster angle, Dead Man's Bones managed to find their way into the hearts of critics and fans alike. Number 3, Zoe Deschanel, She and Him. Orpheus melted the heart of Persephone. You may not remember this endearing actress from her early role in Almost Famous, or even from 2002's The New Guy. Mr. Big Stuff, who do you think you are? But she'll likely know her as Jess Day from New Girl. I'll probably be watching Dirty Dancing at least six or seven times. A day. However, Zoe Deschanel is also an accomplished musician as one half of the pop act She and Him. After years of performing in Los Angeles, she appeared on Coconut Records' album Night Timing, which preceded her debut album alongside noted musician M. Ward. With an enchanting folk sound, the duo has produced a variety of albums. You can 
ranging from traditional releases to Christmas and even a cover album in 2014. All in all, She and Him is not just an interesting side project for Deschanel, but one that has earned serious critical acclaim and commercial success. We looked at each other. And we each Number 2. Jack Black. Tenacious D. And we played the first thing that came to our heads just so happened to be. Theoretically, one might believe that this comedian developed his band through fame and fortune, but it's the other way around. By 1994, Jack Black's most notable role might have been as Wasteland Scrap in Demolition Man. So stay here, be well, and cock does an asshole! Yet he became a true guitar hero after forming Tenacious D alongside Kyle Gass. <laughs> Even so, the group wouldn't release an official album until 2001, this coming after the success of their self-titled HBO series of the late 1990s. Kyle's fingers be silver, Jack's voice then be gold, but lest you think we're vain. We Demonstrating an obvious passion for music and a knack for lyrical poetry, Tenacious D has set themselves apart through performance bravado and pure artistry. You can get a Tenacious D before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Working on a plan to save our home, keep us out of the poor house. Wash, repeat, and rinse. That don't make any sense. Boy, do some crazy shit. You take your panties off. Number 1. Jared Leto, 30 Seconds to Mars From a teen heartthrob on My So Called Life, to an Oscar winner for Dallas Buyers Club, this Suicide Squad star is undeniably a legit rock star as well. Into Formed in 1998, one year before Jared Leto appeared in Fight Club, the group focused more on the music itself rather than fame or fortune, and eventually landed a record deal before releasing their debut album in 2002. Due to the assistance of legendary producer Bob Ezrin, Leto and company delivered a powerhouse debut, and they solidified their sound with 2005's A Beautiful Lot. Respected in both the movie and music industries, Jared Leto has successfully balanced both worlds. So, do you agree with our selections? Who is your favorite actor or actress with a band? For more musical top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.